Hi and welcome along to AFTV. We are here today for the starting 11 show. Massive game today in the Champions League. It's Champions League quarter-final. Arsenal versus Bayern Munich. Chance for revenge. Remember them five ones? We need to revenge that. Big game tonight to discuss it. We've got Laurier, we've got Julian, and of course, the man himself, Lee Judges. You were there, innit, Munich? Weren't you with one of them five ones, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember. That was a bad night. I'm still traumatised, wasn't <laughs> it? Yeah, oh, it weren't great. I'll tell you what, as happens, the actual trip to Munich, it's a lovely city. Everything was really nice, and then it got to eight o'clock. I think it might have been caught to eight, and it was a disaster. But, uh, yeah, lost 5 1 at the Champions League in the first first game. Yeah. First game, really. I know, like, the second game, we got stuffed as well, but <laughs> they'd done the job in the first first game. And, um, yeah, not. I'll tell you what, Going there, you sort of like walk up to it. It's like a spaceship, isn't it? It's yeah, fantastic yeah. stadium. The Alliance. Yeah, yeah, the Alliance. fantastic. But that's all I can say was good about it. <laughs> did, did you have any trouble getting in that night? You had to walk all the way round. Like, to, like you was there, then you had to go all the way round and round. And we was a little bit. We got <laughs> unfortunately we got there on time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, when I got in there, I think I was. I got there an hour before kickoff, and I didn't get into the stadium until I think 25 minutes after kickoff, and I missed I missed the only Arsenal goal. Oh. <laughs> so much for German efficiency. Was yeah, no. The, the weather, stu- weather conditions. No, bad, it wasn't weather conditions. <laughs> it was just a, a lack of organisation outside. Yeah, it was all they yeah. sent you over a bridge, didn't they? Yeah. Do you remember that line mm. all the way back in and all that? But Surprisingly, we managed to get normally yeah, German it efficiency weird. is normally a theme, isn't it? Yeah, but it was it was um, horrible. The performances yeah. every time we played them literally and i just knew we were destined to get them this season um and of course there's the the harry kane factor mm. to add into it now the fact that harry kane and eric Dyer, but obviously the main one harry kane playing for them he's, he's actually had a great season for them although buying himself julian they've not been great this season have they i mean they're they're miles behind by a leverkusen in the league they're not going to win the league they they lost at the weekend They've just been on a really poor run of form. Do you, do you think that they're, you know, this is the right time to be playing? Well, in the previous games, in the previous Champions League games, I've done exactly that. I've looked at the form and the leagues that the other teams are playing in, and I've come to the rational conclusion that Arsenal are going to absolutely stuff these teams. And pretty much every time, apart from some of the home games in the group stage, I've been absolutely wrong. So if you, again, look at... Bayern Munich's form and the teams they're playing and the fact that the German league is the fourth tier in in UEFA coefficient and the Premier League is is number one and the performance of Bayern, then you can only come to one conclusion that Arsenal are going to stuff them. But then I've been wrong, so there's got to be something fundamentally flawed about that way of looking at and predicting. Champions League, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's what you kept saying. It's Champions League, but it didn't mean anything to me. It's like you're not explaining it. And you, but you've been right. It is Champions League, but why is it so different? I think it's so different because you're playing against teams. So for starters, the team like Bayern Munich, they're experienced in this competition, right? They're playing it year in, year out, so they know what it takes to get through rounds. You know what I mean? They know that you know games are going to be tight. They know that it might turn on a mistake or it might turn on a moment, and they've got that quality if they can keep it tight. To hurt you, you know what I mean, and and then they just got that now. Some of these teams to to get through these um, sort of games, and of course, I think it's the fact that despite how bad a team might be in the league, every single one of these teams we're playing are loaded with quality players. So you look, you look at Bayern's eleven, you look at Bayern's squad. It's an unreal squad with unreal players. So if they turn up, it's a long night. Yeah. So then why aren't they turning up in the German league? So why have they? lost to a team 10th in the German League that's only recently come up with mm. a capacity of only 15,000 that's got absolutely no history of doing anything. Yeah, and, and they've they were gone winning 2-0 in that game as well. Yeah, and, they, and they've just gone and lost. I, I just still don't get it. It's still football, but you're right. Mm. I mean, no, but, but, it's not, but by the same token, we lost to Fulham. Yeah, but, that's, so, but that was, pretty, but that was so. pretty much a one-off. Mm. But then the other side of it is in their league, I think they hit eight... Um, less than a month ago, mm. so they're not. Mines. Yeah, because mine's that they're not that poor, and they're still second in the league, and they've won it last eleven times. So if this is a disaster for them to come second 
in the 12th season after winning it 11 times and I'll have that sort of <laughs> crisis going on at Arsenal in 11 years time. Yeah, I mean it's a massive game Laurie, right? Um, like um, we said, we all remember the t- previous times when we played Bayern, we got absolutely hammered. But these are a different Arsenal that they're facing this time. Um, you know, you look at the Arsenal team that faced uh, Bayern the last time we played them with players like Mustafi, um, this is a completely different Arsenal side, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Completely different. And um, although we're throwing the word revenge around quite loosely, I'm not so sure for the players that are playing today. It's not so much revenge, is it? It's getting the job done. You know what I mean, I think that's the way they should approach it. Try and take the emotion out of it and um, do what they do best, which is um, play good football and win games. And I think today... I think we just about should start a favourites. I do take your point about Bayern's pedigree in Europe and it's also, you also made the point about the Champions League being tactically nuanced. So it's obviously different to your regular uh, domestic football. But I do believe that with the form Arsenal are in and the fact that our defensive prowess at the moment is second to none should be enough to get us a good result tonight. Yeah, we got Alex Smith for the Super Chat. He says, let's get the win. He says he's going for 3-0. That would be a, um, oh, like be a great <laughs> um, result if that's... Lee, how important is it tonight that we get the win? I think it's massive today. I really do, for confidence and everything like that. This is... I, I think Arsenal have been gearing up for this game. I, 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 you might think I'm being silly with this. I think, like, you look back to the, to, to the Man City game, I think Luton... And then even Brighton, there was not one eye, but like, you know, get the job done and then like uh, rest and get ready for this game. I, I think Arsenal will come out on fire for this, in, on this game for about 20, 25 minutes. And it depends what happens in that 25 minutes. We can get a couple of goals. But I think it's vital that we don't... I think last season messed us up a little bit when we played and then we didn't have a game for a week. I looked at Man City just playing and playing. I think it's important that we continue to keep playing. I don't want rest now. I don't want rest and, and that. I want us to, uh, to keep progressing because I think like it, it breeds confidence. It also keeps the squad happy as well because there'll be certain players coming in and certain players dropping out and, and whatever. But I also think just for confidence of just keep going and keep winning. And I think that, you know, this is a test today. I don't want anything to, to, to undermine our confidence that we've got. At this moment in time, I'm confident that Arsenal are going to win every game because of the way we've been going into games. Winning, 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 winning. And I think that's built, built up. And if it's built up on me as a fan, I'm pretty sure it's built up on the players as well. Yeah, and we're at home. And that, you know, we have to take advantage of that home game because we all know this is another nuance in the Champions League that if you don't do that, and you've got to go and play that second leg, and you, you're in a position, you're in a situation where you have to win that second leg. Yeah, we've got leg. to win tonight. That's very, very difficult. It doesn't happen a lot. Yeah, but the difference with this one is it's roles reversed, as in the home games first. And I get the feeling that if we had to go and get a result in Munich with the fact that I think we are a better team than them, we'd go and do it. So Very <laughs> difficult to go to places like that and get a result. Mm. Easier to get the result at your home place. That's another, as I was saying, there's another nuance of the Champions League, and that that's not done a lot where you go away to a team, you know, would one, you of, rather the, play one of the first big or? teams. I think I would have rather have played the, the, our sec, the, 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 this, you know, the second leg. I think it's, a, it's an advantage when you've got that yeah, at home, it's, it's the, second month, the second game. Because you've got the potential of extra time and penalties. Mm. So that gives that That's particular right. leg mm. The, mm. Um, the advantage there. I mean, we use that to our advantage against Porto. Yeah, I did. also think, though, you can, you, you can look at it like they've done to us, smash them out of sight, and it's done in one game. And that, Manchester City done, have done that. They've done it to, to Real Madrid last season. Mm. Uh, they actually done it to Bayern Munich Last season, remember like last season, yeah. they played really, really well that day, Man City, and, uh, uh, and got the result. And, and, it, it, and I say it's a formality, but I think if you can get two, two goals up on them, just say two goals up, with the way we defended, particularly the way we defended against the best team in Europe in Man City, it will give us a lot of confidence. Yeah. Um, Freddie Yusa says, um, Bayern are doing badly in the German league, but he says still second regardless. But it also means that they're going to be focusing on the Champions League, mm-hmm. Laurie, to save this season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just a natural consequence, isn't it? If they're out of 
contention for the league, they're going to focus all their energies now on the Champions League, and especially someone like Harry Kane, whose mm. sole purpose of going to Bayern was presumably he was going to lift some trophies. He's now in danger of coming away with nothing. Um, so, yeah, that's going to make them, I would say, slightly more dangerous, to be honest. Do you fear Harry Kane tonight? You have to, really. But that being said, you're talking... About, right, personally, I think Harry Kane right now is the best number nine in world football. That's, that's my opinion. Um, but I also believe that our centre-back pairing is the best centre-back pairing 100%. in the world. So you've got them two coming up against um, Harry Kane, which is intriguing. And if you remember a couple of weeks ago, they came up against somebody who last year was arguably the best number nine in the world, probably in the top three or four, um, Haaland, and those mm. two kept him quiet. So let's hope they can do the same thing tonight. Yeah, and they've also got experience. They, they know what's coming. So unlike a lot of the other Champions League teams we could play, he's not an unknown quantity. So we know exactly what's coming with <coughs> Harry Kane. I, I think it'd be interesting with Harry Kane because I think, if, I'm going to be really honest, I think Haaland's probably a better goal scorer than Harry Kane. He's, he's, he's a, 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 but not a, right now. A, 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 yeah, I, I, I know. Kane's still, got still, thirty-eight you know, goals this season. He got fifty goals in the Premiership last season. Harry Kane never got that. Like you know, I think he's an out-and-out -out goal scorer. But but why I think Kane and why it's interesting with the central defenders today is I think Kane's a very very intelligent footballer. So he'll take you into places what Haaland is not capable of doing. Mm -hmm. He'll drop off. He can drop off Kane and he can pick, pick your pocket that way. It's interesting how we deal with those sorts of sides of his game because I think that's where he's a very, very intelligent footballer. If, for, for, for instance, Haaland, the physical battle, he ain't got much <coughs> after that where Kane has got lots of little things. So if he's losing the physical battle, he can drop off and go into little pockets. It's how we deal with him there, like, you know. Yeah. And, and I think this is a, a, a massive game for Saliba and uh, Gabriel because we're getting all the plaudits at the moment. And rightly so, and deservedly so, but now you're playing the best. What are you going to do against the best? But, yeah. but there's Musiala there as well, there's yeah. another yeah, got, young of player. Of course, they've got brilliant. quality all over. Yeah, but if you talk about the best, you can also look at the fact they've got Eric Dyer in their team. Yeah, and he's that's playing, true. And, and if that's, you know, that gives us confidence. I mean, he couldn't even but if you, get if his you look at, If you look at Bayern's team, their strengths are definitely further up the top. Yeah. So we spoke yeah. about Kane, you spoke about Musiala, yeah. he's a tremendous player. Don't forget Serge Gnabry. Don't forget Kingsley Coman, who there's a lot of speculation that he weren't going to be fit, but apparently he will. Travel, did not he? So they've got their threats. Yeah, so but we it, do need to... No, if you it's look, not just Kane we need to worry but about. If you look at the, the Arsenal team, if you look at the Arsenal squad, Dyer wouldn't get anywhere near it. Mm -hmm. So if he's actually getting in their team on a regular basis, I've heard he's played... Um, I think he's, he's getting he's, in because of injuries. Well, you know? he's, but he's played 10 games. He's, he's got there in January. He's played 10 games. And he's absolutely Do you think he'll play tonight? <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> Curtis Shaw, big up Curtis. He says, evening four baldies. We must win the home game. <laughs> you <laughs> ain't asked him for that night, you know I mean? Says Martin and his pace is vital tonight. Um, yes. And, and the score predictions. We're going to give score predictions soon. And um, also another super chat coming here from The Bayern View, who says, Tuchel cool is the reason. Thank you. Um, thank you for having me on. Um, he doesn't like Tuchel. Cool. A lot of their fans over there have not been impressed with Tuchel, he took over arm there and has not done the greatest job. Luke Atwood says, I uh, hope everyone stays safe at the game. Scary times, there has been these terrorist threats levelled at the game. So anybody going to the game today, I suggest you get there early just to make sure you get in. But um, the game is going ahead. It's, you know, these things happen on a, on a regular basis. Um, the starting 11 is going to be out in about 15 minutes time. Would you make any changes, Lee? Yeah. What would those changes be? Martinelli comes in today for me. Martinelli for, who do you drop out? Jesus? Yeah. Oh, oh well, yeah. Oh, 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 Havertz is playing so well, it's very hard to leave him out like, you know, so um, I'll probably go with that. I, I do agree with you, but it's interesting. I don't know if you saw the press conference, but Jesus was doing was, it, wasn't he? was the one they put up to do the press conference. Now, normally, when someone's been put up to do the press conference, normally they they're going to play. play. So, yeah, but that yeah. could be a curveball by Arteta. It could be. Yeah, it, it could be, be a curveball. Uh, uh, it, listen, well, yeah. what I would say is, regardless of whether he starts or not, he will play at some point tonight. Yeah, like, like, listen, if, if it is Jesus out on the left, I'm not going to be um, despondent. But I think, it's, it, listen, when Saka's not 100% fit, he's in the team straight away. Like, with, with Martinelli, you know, I think he's still a very, very important player for us. He doesn't seem to be rushed back 
like um, Sakari's like, you know. We've we got greater strength in depth on that side. Yeah, maybe, but like, I, I just but think... The one that thing that Martinelli does give us, and I would include Sakari in this as well, he is the... He's got pace to burn. I'm not yeah, saying that Saka's slow. I think that we've listened. But he's got that blistering pace. Yeah. Mm. And Natasha that says, Martin and he running past Eric Dyer should be fun to watch. Mm. Says. But I just so think he's got that... I, 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 listen, it's been no comment. Arsenal played fantastically well on Sunday, don't get, uh, Saturday, don't get me wrong. But uh, we were scoring five, sixes on a regular basis. Martin, he was in the team. As soon as he dropped out, he didn't play. The last time he played was against, started against Sheffield United. After that, he's not played. Uh, and I do think that we just, it gives us something w that no one else has got. And I mean that real pace, real, right. I think they've all got it, but he gives it so something. Martin Martinelli's a change, no other change? Is that the one? No, that... I'd bring in, um, I, I'd, I would bring in Tommy Asser at left back for this game. Tommy Asser at left back. Are you yeah. making any changes? I'd do exactly the same as Lee. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because when we did the, when we did the, um, the predicted, 11. predicted 11, we did talk about those two changes. Um, Tom, uh, Martinelli coming in for Jesus, and we also speculated on the left back. So some of the guys went for Tommy Asu. I was saying that the manager might opt for Kivior because he's a bit more robust in defence mm. and he's been playing there and he's been doing well. So mm. I definitely think Zinchenko will drop out though. Yeah. I'm, I'm, no disrespects, but I don't think he's been playing his yeah. best football recently. I think for a big game like this, I think the manager will definitely... That left-back situation I think you've got change. to keep it yeah. tight a little bit, haven't you? Yeah. Also. Mm. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty close to wanting Partey. Close, but... Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm still... Well, that, still was, that was the next yeah. thing I'm going to ask you. Would you, do you. Do you drop out... Um, Jorginho. Jorginho and bring Partey in? Because you Partey, know, yeah. you know, Jorginho, you know, um, he had a full game the other day. That, that's a great yeah. question. Yeah. I would have... Oh, before the Brighton game, I would have said yes. Do you know when I said, yeah, bring back Pai? I thought Jorginho was superb again on, on the weekend. As he got it to go two games and then maybe rest him out for, the, for Saturday, I, I don't know. I but I, 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 I just think his performances have been so good. It's, it's very, very difficult to leave him out. But a full fit party is a, <laughs> is a, it's a tough See, one. See, therein lies the issue, because I absolutely agree with you. It's, it's difficult to drop Jorginho, but if he's analysed it pound for pound, you would say Partey's got the edge as a player. But oh, that being said, <laughs> we wouldn't Partey, have argued about I get, it the, I get the distinct impression that he's not fully up to speed yet. Mm. When but he's he, come he, in, has been, he has been back now for a little bit. He has played a, a couple of games. He, you know, he's been he doesn't look like he's at he, his full level. He looks he's looking like a decent he's, level to yeah, me, he though. Like he's, he's getting you know, there. And he's and getting there. And the he's other getting. thing is, the, I mean, this game closely follows Saturday, whereas the next game, I think you're wrong, it's not Saturday, I think it's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, yeah, 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 Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Sunday. Sunday. so we've got an extra bit of a time for, for him to recover, whereas I don't think Jorginho, look, he has got the legs, but I think when you've got a... a yeah, it's a little it's, bit yeah, of a quick turnaround. It's a quick turnaround, where that's why I think he played Jorginho in that game, with the view to bring Partey yeah. back I for this one. Partey might I wouldn't be surprised well. if Partey's playing, but, but listen, yeah. if, if what, what a great thing to have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we, we you know, party would have been like this time last season. Party not in the team, we'd be all going mad. Mm. We've got the choice now, like you know, and uh, you know, as you say, he's going to be fresh. Yeah, but I, I do remember this time last season we weren't going mad because um, Jorginho was playing that well. Yeah, he come in and done done very very well, like you know. Loads of fireworks we can hear going yeah, on. Yeah, I like fireworks. I fireworks. <laughs> Loads of fireworks going on, drums being played. Listen, there's going to be a great atmosphere at the um, ground tonight. We can even hear it from here. Uh, Simon G says, um, if we win um, both, would you rate this team as, as good as the Invincibles? He says, believe um, if we won the Champions League and the league. There's a lot of fireworks we'll go, yeah. going on out there, isn't there? Go down as history is probably the, the, the best team ever. Yeah. If that happened, wouldn't it? Or if we won that double. Won the double, I think he yeah. would do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if they won the double, they'd have to be. Yeah, I think it would do. Because yeah. we've never won the Champions League, so yeah. to do that and the Premier League, got to. Chuck says, uh, two on to the Arsenal. I think the defence formation is the same against as against City, and Gabriel can focus on Kane. Then um, we should be all right, but we need to stop the, um, the back pass to the keeper, um, as they could uh, cost us a lot. It's going to be interesting to see Bayern start. I mean, but I remember like when we did play him all those years back, I mean, they had an unbelievable pressing start. Was that Hansi Flick was their manager then, weren't they? That's, mm. that's, 
they were playing great football at them times, but as I said, this season it's not really been happening for them. Listen, it's not the Barcelona that went to Tottenham and stuffed Tottenham out of sight. It's not the Barcelona that right, we're playing. Right. Bayern, it was like Barcelona. I'm watching because yeah. I'm watching Barcelona. <laughs> I'm there. It's not the Bayern Munich that, that smashed Spurs at, 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 the, at White Hart Lane. Was it, was it White Hart? I think it was the old, the new stadium, mm. wasn't it? Yeah, they, it was a new stadium. You know, Gnabry scored a few. Yeah. They were sensational then. But it is still against Spurs. Let's not. Yeah, let's not but even against us, they was was superb and all that. Like, I what, do. Since when they beat us five one. Yeah, but I don't think this team is as good as those teams. I don't. Mm. I, I really don't. Definitely. Yeah. I, I think that they're. they're, they're They've got vulnerabilities in their team because you, you don't go and lose the games that they've lost without something not being right. I, I don't care what anybody says. The, like the, the only slight concern I've got, Lee, is that, um, and you touched on it earlier, where our pedigree in this tournament in Europe um, mm. is not the best, let's be honest, right? And um, if we're also being honest, we've got to admit that in the previous round against Porto, we were not that good. In mm. fact, you know, <laughs> it could be argued that their manager got the better of Arteta over the course of those two games. Well, so no, no, we are over the, over the course of the first game. No, I um, think in the second game, I thought. I well, anyway, we got very, through a pen- very close games. Yeah, it? yeah. But what I'm saying is, you would have thought that we would have handled Porto a little bit easier than we did. So, as well as we're playing, as well as we're doing, there are question marks over the Champions League, uh, and in Europe in general, we've not over the. We haven't got. We've not been great. So I'm listen, really we haven't sure. got a very good. You know, we're like you look at Bayern Munich and you look at Barcelona and you, you know all these teams. They've got pedigree. In Europe, we haven't. There's no ways, two ways you can look at it. Like you know, we've we've been we've been in it so many times. We've been knocked out. Remember, we've got we've only been to one final in our. Yeah, but you can say history. not Forest have got pedigree. So like, they're not going to do well in it. You can't go back in history. They're no, compl- no, no, but I'm just saying we haven't got. Yeah, yeah but, yeah, but Forest is. Teams. We, we with respect, yeah. Forest is European pedigree. It's not recent. But, but at the time, you're not know, talking no, about Brian. But, but then, if, but then, if you've got completely different teams, then to me, it, it's irrelevant. If, oh, I get that, but then you've still got that thing. Like there was that time a couple of years ago. I remember. Uh, like saying, well, but, but, uh, Real Madrid are not going to win it this season. And someone said to me, you cannot write Real Madrid mm. out because of it. And they went on and won it. I, I think that you, Arsenal have got to get some sort of pedigree in the Champions League. And this is our opportunity today. This is, yep. this is the best team that we've got for a very, very long yeah. while. Go and go and, and don't forget. You know, well, hold, hold on, on the team. I think I've got the team now. Ooh. So this is the team's Ooh. come out a bit early. So this is the team that's going to be playing tonight. It's Raya in goal. Um, ben White, Saliba and Gabriel with Jakob Kivior I was right. coming yeah, in. Well done, Laurie. Right. Well done, Laurie. Right, um, right, Rice, Jorginho keeps his place. I was right. No again. Thomas Partey. Um, Odegaard, Martinelli starts from the beginning. Oh, I'm excited. Havertz and Saka. So you, you jumped up and said you was right, but you was also telling us about the little fact that if Jesus was at the press conference, he would be... Yeah, 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 he did. I yeah, said yeah, that. He did. Yeah, well I done, did right. say that. I said yeah, normally. Yeah. He done a Julian there, hasn't he? Like, you know? I, I um, did say that. The I bench that. is Ramsdale, Hine. Of course, you can have two keepers yeah. um, on the bench in this. Tommy Asu, Zinchenko, Partey, Elneny, Smithrow, Trossard, Vieira, Nelson, Jesus and Eddie Enketia. So that is the, uh, that is the Arsenal team. What do you guys think bench. of it? Did you say Smith Rowe was on the bench? Yeah. Oh, he is. It's a strong bench. Oh, hold on. Yeah, Smith Rowe on the bench, okay. yeah. Have you got Bayern's team? I, haven't, um, I don't see Bayern's team yet, but what do you think of the team? Well, I think, like, you know, I think it probably would have been out of Kivier and um, Tommy Asu. Um, but, you know, Kivier ain't done nothing wrong. He's just been given a little bit of a rest in the last couple of games. Hasn't None he? of them have done anything so, wrong. They're all playing brilliantly. You could interchange a number of that team. We and haven't still seen for really two games, Really be what Kivior? Hmm. Yeah, well, he's had a rest. Yeah, he had that's a, what. That's he had what a hard, I, is had that a hard what I just said? Break. Is that what I just said? Like you know, what I mean, like you know, is that what I just said? <laughs> I'm enjoying this little running battle. You <laughs> oh, today, like yeah, I mean, we had it all the time. <laughs> I like, me and Robbie were bad. Yeah, yeah I know. You know what I mean, it's just uh, you yeah. know, nice and sunny out there today, isn't it? Like you know, so. Uh, <laughs> But no, he's had a rest, he's come back. Yeah, I don't think he deserved to be... A couple of people said, oh, why is he being left out? Well, obviously, this is why. You know, he was always being saved for this game. I, I ain't got a problem with Kivio playing. I, I really haven't. I think so he's done can really I say, well. Okay, I think well, let me just give you the Bayern team. So the Bayern team is Neuer in goal, so he's fit. Yeah. They were saying that he might be injured. Um, De Ligt, who's been linked um, a lot to uh, Arsenal, he starts. Kimmich, Gnabry, Goretzka, Kane... 
Sane, Dyer starts oh, from yes. the beginning. Yes. Davis, um, Lema and Musiala. Very strong team um, for uh, Bayern Munich. That is their starting lineup. It's, 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 get her that back yeah, forward. It's, it's, it's strong it. apart from Dyer. Yeah, and I mean, even even De Ligt has not been having a great no, time of it this season. No, he's only just come back in. Yeah, he's he? not been having a great time of it this season. Goretzka's not really been on it this season. I mean, he's, he's been a great player in the past. Back, but we can yeah. get at him. Um, get at him. I think, like you said, Laurie, coming forward, you know what I mean? They've got Davis on, on out wide, quick Sane, as we all know about him, um, Musiala. And of course, Kane, Gnabry, Gnabry. Yeah. you know, and Kimmich. But Kimmich, Goretzka in that midfield, they haven't been is there a bench on what, they, that, what they've been like over the, the years. Bench, or is he out? Um, so who's on the bench? Upamecano, is he on the bench or is he out? Upamecano is not on the bench, no. So he's, um, he's out. They've got, I'm, I'm surprised they're not playing, um, uh, is it Min J? They're not playing him. Oh no, sorry, Upamecano is on the bench. I just thought he is on the bench. So he's on the bench. So they've li left him out. Chip emoting. Oh, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, he, he's, 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 he's been, been laying eggs enough. recently. Huh? I've, I've been hearing that he's been laying eggs recently, Upa Mokano. Could it be a thing with a dire thing that, that like Tuchel's looking at it and thinking, well, it's England. Mm. You know, he might be a bit, he's played at the Emirates more times. He might be a bit more used to it. I don't know. Yeah, or, or he's just but, not thinking. But it was interesting <laughs> that I was listening to uh, <laughs> one of the Euro correspondents the other day on TV and they were breaking down by immune this season. And they were saying that in transition is where they've been getting found out in the German league. So as soon as they lose the ball, because they haven't got the legs and the pace, teams yeah. have been able to counter-attack. That's it, Kimmich and Goretzka, not the quickest. Yeah, so therein lies what we were talking about Martinelli. If we can press them, get the ball, get it quickly up to the top guys, there's, uh, mm. there's ways we can exploit them. With the, with the uh, it's pretty windy outside today. The, the, the wind has actually turned up today. You think yeah. that could have an effect on it? Be a bit of a leveler level today. today? Well, well, if, well, if you look at the uh, topology of the um, of the Emirates Stadium, you've got a lot of quite big buildings around it, so that acts as a windbreaker. So I've kind of factored that in. <laughs> <laughs> Not nothing to do with the roof or anything like no, that. No, well, in the roof. But then, if you're looking at a, a ground <coughs> that's slightly more open or a ground that's uh, that's near the sea as we were at on uh, the weekend, it has more of an effect. We're near the river. No, we're not. <laughs> we're, near, we're not. The River Thames. Yeah. <laughs> There's the brook that goes past just over there. Yeah. Like. I mean, <laughs> we're 5.2 miles away from the Thames. I just want to say as well, shout out to that mole in the dressing room that gave me the uh, starting 11. And well, now Jesus, with Jesus. Yeah, this is the Jesus thing. <laughs> no, with the Jesus, I said that. Oh, hey, 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 <laughs> I can't understand. Yeah, no, 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 I said I wanted Martinelli to start. You heard me yeah, very clearly you say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I said typically, and it's true, you said that. You agreed with me when I said that. Yeah, but I didn't know the same. You said you knew the same. No, when you asked for the team, I said Martinelli will play. All I said was. You said Jesus would play. No, I said that. You did. Typically. Typically, no. Yeah, they run it back. <laughs> Typically, when they put you agree with me. Oh, said, no, he, he, he doesn't listen. He just nods his when, head. Normally, when yeah. they put guys up, it means that they're anyway. He will play at some point tonight. Isn't he? Oh, that's a massive prediction. Well done. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's expert. But yeah. as you said, you said like Jesus might be like you know yeah, yeah, red yeah, herring, and then you were curveball. Were, yeah, I was totally right. Totally I, right. I, I, yeah. I was surprised when Jesus played at the weekend because I know that. They've been talking about managing his knee injury. He was talking about in that press conference the fact that every time he plays, he's playing in pain. Um, you can't remember the last time he's he's played and he's not been in pain. So I was so really surprised when I saw him start because I thought he would have been held back for this game because he has been really really good in the um, in the Champions League. So that that was a bit of a surprise to me, but um, not massively I, surprised. I think that he's really, not Robert. I think he would have probably been playing and. The form of Kai Havertz, you just he's, can't he's leave him out. He's untroppable, isn't he? I think, yeah, I, think he's, I think you're right, Julian. I think he is untroppable at the moment. Like, mm. I, I think that, you know, because of injury, it's let we had to do something in that position and he's just took, took it to a duck like wall. He's been outstanding. He's been outstanding. The only thing yeah. that I would say, maybe oh, he might need a rest at some stage because of the work rate he's doing. But, you know, him and Declan Rice and Olegaard, by the way, their work rate in this team is yeah. sensational. It's going to have to be so good tonight. Can't leave him Hugo out. Hugo says, uh, let's show the whole world um, that Arsenal are back. We spark Bayern and whoever will be after them in the final. I want PSG 
and Mbappe ridiculed us. So he wants me to be talking about finals. Let's get try, try and get through the semi through this one quick. first. Um, Ronan says, uh, not football related, but um, thought it was relevant given the news today. Stay safe, vigilant, um, and vigilant as well. Mm. Um, yes, that is the news. That there's been a terrorist threat, not just on this game tonight, but all on of all of the um, Champions League games. I have to be honest, I'm not frightened in the slightest. I mean, I think it's a, a bit of sort of PR by these terrorist groups to be saying that they're going to threaten every single game. But what it does mean is that there's going to be high security. That needs to be taken seriously. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It'll be high security around the game. It's a substantial threat. Yeah, and it's happened Sorry. before. Yeah, it's it going to be high ha- security in, around the game. happened in Paris. It's happened recently in Moscow. I think you have to take these things seriously. Yeah. Mm. Of course we're taking yeah. it seriously. I'm taking yeah. it seriously. But I'm saying I'm not frightened. Are you frightened to go to the game tonight? Am I frightened? No, yeah, you said you was. No, I didn't say I'm frightened. <laughs> you did because, say that earlier on. I'm focused on the game, but I'm not think, I haven't been thinking about it too much. But if I actually You think, said you was a target. Well, I probably would be. Because you're not liked. So <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you give you... We could give you a ticket up to one of the yeah. other guys. Yeah, yeah I'm, not, you, I'm, you... not, I'm not that frightened <laughs> that I want to give my ticket up. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, I'm aware. So I think our security yeah. is, is the business. Yeah, and, and that's there'll be a lot of believing it. Tonight. Over fifteen thousand of you watching live. Thank you very much. Um, let's get some predictions, uh, Laurie. Mm. Don't change it. <laughs> uh, I'm going for an Arsenal win. Um, as much as I'd like to say we won't concede. I can see Harry Kane actually getting on the score sheet tonight. 2 1 Arsenal. 2 1? Yeah, I was going to say 1 0, but now I hear that Dyer's playing. I'm going to say 2. 2 0? Yeah. Lee? I'm, I'm going to say 2, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's more. 2 0 to Arsenal. Yeah? 2 0 to Arsenal. I'm, I'm, I'm being a little bit cagey when I say that, but yeah. I've got a feeling. That we're going to, it's going to be a mad night tonight for us. I've got, I don't know why, but I think... It's because Eric Dyer's playing. No, nah, it's not just because... I just think that Arsenal, I, I think, will we'll make a statement today. OK, well, I hope you're right. Um, what about you? I'm going to go for the 2-0 as well. Um, I was thinking 2-1, but, you know, I'm going to back, the, I'm going to back that defence, man. They've been defending so well. They, they defended well against Haaland. Obviously, Harry Kane's going to be a mega threat in the game. But I, I get the feeling we'll, we'll, we, we'll win the game tonight. We have to win the game tonight, I feel, to, to stand a chance of getting through. I, I think if we've got no, a negative... I'm not sure about that. I, I feel if we've got a negative don't result to, again... We don't lose. No, but I'm saying we get a negative result today. We're right up against it going to um, Bayern, as bad as they've been. Um, let's go through the um, Arsenal team again that is going to be playing tonight. It's Rea in goal. Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel and Jakob Kivior coming back in at left-back. Rice, Jorginho and Odegaard in the midfield. And up front is Saka, Havertz down the middle and Gabriel Martinelli. On the bench is Ramsdale, Hein, Tommy Asu, Zinchenko, Partey, Elneny, Emil Smithrow, Trossard, Vieira, Nelson, Jesus and Eddie and Ketcha. So plenty of firepower on the bench. The game kicks off at 8 o'clock. Don't forget... You can watch the watch along here. The guys are all geared up for that. Um, and after, you'll be able to call in. Um, all you've got to do is use the app AFTV Plus or click the link in the description and you can call in and have your say on the game wherever you are in the world. We want to hear from you or around the UK. Let's hear from you after the game. Your very own fan cam live here in the studio. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the game. Champions League back at the Emirates. It is Arsenal versus Bayern Munich. Come on, Arsenal, let's get this one done.